Hey fellow golfers, I hope you enjoyed the last clip on key data from Arcos from 2022 comparing a scratch golfer to tour golfers to the best on tour in various categories and some of the implications that came out of that. I thought I would follow that up with a short clip on how does then the scratch golfer compared to in particular a 20 handicap but also a 10 handicap and I will look at three or four similar categories and at the end give you a couple of really important takeaways. As I go through I will be putting up a table for each category so that you can even pause it if you like and take a look at the numbers in detail. I will only illustrate and highlight a couple of them um, but there is more detail and data in the table than I will cover. I will also in the background you will see uh, on this occasion be showing a running clip or clips of various top LPGA players hopefully to inspire you. But why did I choose LPGA players? I think most club golfers, including male golfers, seniors, can learn a lot more from the women's game than trying to emulate, say, a Scottish Scheffler or a Rory McIlroy. In particular, around aspects like setup, posture, tempo, and course management. I hope that these clips will also inspire you to follow the women's game as much as the men's game. So let's start with the first two, which is driving distance and driving accuracy. Not surprisingly, you will see in the table that the driving distance is further for a scratch player compared to a 10 handicap and then of course compared to a 20 handicap. 259 yards on average for a scratch player compared to 213 yards for a 20 handicap. And then on driving accuracy, in other words, the percentage where you drive into the fairway as opposed to into the rough, be it left or right side, the difference is about 10% between a scratch player and a 20 handicap. So 51% for a scratch player, 41% for a 20 handicap. Now let's look at essentially the approach play greens and regulation, and all approaches is what I'll focus on, but you'll see more data in the table. Here the contrast between a scratch player and a 20 handicap, and of course 10 handicap being in between, is much greater and really accounts for why scoring differences begin to make a big difference. A scratch player it's greens and regulations on average about 56% of the time, whereas a 20 handicap does it about 20% of the time. If you look at all approaches to the pin, you will also see some startling differences, and this then get, affects your putting statistics and, of course, birdies and bogey statistics, let alone double bogeys and more. You will see that on average, for a scratch player, they get to about 44 feet from the hole in their approach play greens and regulation. Whereas for a 20 handicap, that is about 85 feet, putting a lot more pressure then on your putting. Let's then look at putts per round. And here I'm going to focus on one putt per round, just for the sake of illustration, and three putts per round because you'll see here an even starker difference in the latter case. 
in the case of one putz per round. A scratch player gets about 5.2 one putts per round. A 20 handicap about 2.9 one putts per round. Now look at three putts per round. You will see a scratch player basically makes about 1.4 three putts per round, whereas a 20 handicap does four three putts per round. Now let's look at birdies per round, bogeys per round, and double bogeys or worse per round. Again, using the same comparisons of scratch and 20, and you can see in the table, the 10 is in between, but similar implications. So the number of birdies per round for a scratch player is 2.2, whereas for a 20 handicap, it's 0 0.3. So a 20 handicap hardly gets any birdies. If you look at bogeys, a scratch player on average gets 4.6 bogeys. So they also get bogeys. And a 20 handicap gets about nine bogeys per round. If, if we now look at double bogeys or worse, you'll see that a scratch player gets about 0.7 double bogeys or worse, whereas a 20 handicap gets about 6.6 .6 double bogeys or worse. Part of that, of course, is the issue of proximity to the hole, the greens and regulation, and putting so much more pressure on your putting, which constitutes in any event about 25% of the round of the, of the shots in a game. Equally important to focus on, and it will speak to some of the takeaways I give you, is the up and downs. Up and downs, proximity to the green. You will see in the table there are several statistics, so I won't go through all of them, but I'll highlight a few. And then equally, sand up and down. So sand saves or up and down from bunkers. So if you look at zero to 25 yards in, so close to the green, you will see that a scratch player gets up and down about 57% of the time, whereas a 20 handicap gets up and down only about 23% of the time. So you can see that that's an area also to give great importance to. I'll come back to that. Similarly, if you look at 25 to 50 yards up and down, you will see a stock difference between 37% for a scratch player and 11% for a 20 handicap. Not surprisingly, the up and down from sand saves has a similar gap between a scratch player, a 10 handicap and a 20 handicap. So just for illustration, zero to 25 yards from in the sand, a scratch player gets up and down 39% of the time, a 20 handicap 13% of the time. You will see a similar gap for 25 to 50 yards from this in the sand to the pin with a scratch player getting up and down 27% of the time and a 20 handicap only getting up and down 8% of the time. All of this tells you a couple of things. Why, yes, it would be good as a 10 or 20 handicap to drive further and be more accurate, and certainly it will help a great deal, particularly the accuracy. In other words, tighter dispersion, more on the fairway rather than the rough, no matter what the distance, even if the distance is less, gives you a much better chance to get a green in regulation on a par four and the third shot into a par five green in regulation. Of far greater importance and significance is really sort of the hundred yard in the pitch and then chip shots, the 25, 50 yards up and down, the sand saves and the putting. 
so f a greater focus on the short game. And I would suggest that in practice or in practice rounds, you spend a good 70, 75% of your time on that whole area of the game. Simple wedge shots, chipping, sand, and putting. And only 25% on driving. It'll make an enormous difference, not only to your score, but to your enjoyment of the game, to bringing your handicap down significantly. And it is certainly something that has made a huge difference in my case. Even as a senior golfer, obviously I don't have the yardage that I used to have when I was younger. I don't really focus on that so much. I focus much more on accuracy of the drives. And then I really focus on good wedge shots from 100, 120 yards in, chipping from 25 yards in, bunker shots, trying to get closer proximity to the hole, and then on getting the right pace for my putting, so at worst, really good lag putts for longer putts. And in my case, really trying to ensure that I never do more than a two putt. In many cases, I do less now. Because of the focus on that short game, it also gives you huge confidence in the game and you relax, you enjoy more, you realize that you can get more out of your game by having a better posture, better tempo, better alignment, better grip, almost a slower swing, more is less. So by being less hurried, even the odd pause at the back of your takeaway and a more relaxed swing into it, I get greater accuracy. It is really key to improving your short game that will make a big difference to the enjoyment you have to your score, to your handicap, and to wanting to get back out there and doing even more. I hope these takeaways, comparing scratch to 10 handicap to 20 handicap, has been helpful for you and gives you some food for thought. Do comment, do subscribe. See you on the flip side.